On the bench today, we've got the 10-inch Ryoba saw by Harbor Freight. It's a 10-inch double-edged saw with a long handle. It has cross-cutting teeth and rip-cutting teeth, rip-sawing teeth. I've never had one of these before, but was very interested from what I've seen. They're supposed to be really efficient and easy to handle. comes with some guards on the edges so you don't tear your hands up. And here you can see some of the specs it's for woodworking and carpentry, making dovetails. I'm going to be using this on some green wood. I've got a project where I'm building some things out of green wood or raw wood, whatever you want to call it, round wood. And this seemed like a pretty good option for making some of the joints that I need to make. I wanted to see if this thing was made to take the replacement blades I've seen online. So I decided to take it apart and see. And it seems like it will take most replacement blades as long as it's the same style. So that's great. Essentially this thing was under $10. And I know some of the real Japanese made ones can be quite a bit more expensive than that. So I'm not expecting a ton. But let's see, we'll do some cutting tests and find out. Here you can see the ripping teeth for cutting with the grain and the cross cut for cutting through the grain. Cross it. You can also see how flexible and bendable this blade is, which would be great for cutting things flush. And it does come relatively sharp right out of the box. I'll be sawing on some white pine that's been out on the ground for a while, so it is wet. We've had a lot of rain here with an old Stanley Western style saw, hand saw. And I'll admit this isn't the sharpest saw, but it's the one I had available for this comparison. Now ergonomically, the Japanese saw proved to be much better for this particular exercise. Just the way that I had set up the piece of wood on that table made it difficult to get a really good stroke with the regular handsaw. It takes me a little bit, this is my first cut ever with one of these things, it, gets me, it takes me a little bit to get going, but once it's going, it's very natural and it just slices and cuts right through. I mean, very, very little effort with this Japanese saw. And you can see how it's just slicing right through. I'm going to blow off this area so I can show you the kerf from both saws. Here you can see how much further I got with the Japanese saw with much less effort, much less resistance. And here's a shot of the kerf. Got the Japanese saw on the right, the western saw on the left, and you can see that the traditional or western hand saw has a much wider kerf, whereas the Japanese saw is much thinner. Overall, it's a great saw. I didn't want to spend a ton of money to get a Japanese saw and not know if I was going to like it or not, but I feel comfortable in the future maybe investing a little bit more. But for the price, I totally recommend this saw.